Hello students, welcome to the session. Today we will know about the nutrition in old age. Our objective is to understand the process of aging, to know the physiological, psychological and immunological changes with aging that influence the nutrient intake, to learn nutritional requirements during old age and to understand the common nutritional problems in old age, to learn the dietary guidelines. Aging is inevitable. Successful aging is defined not by longevity alone but also by sufficient well-being in multiple domains like socially, physically and mentally. The three components for successful aging are avoiding diseases, engagement with life and maintaining high physical and cognitive function. The process of aging brings about physiological, psychological and immunological changes with aging that influence the nutrient intake. Several changes contribute to nutritional related problems which can be maintained successfully with appropriate intake of relevant diet. Old age is best defined as the age of retirement or 60 years and above. Improvement in healthcare technology has enhanced the life expectancy. Aging is a normal process which begins at the conception and ends with death. Goal of nutritional care should be to help the aged achieve healthy and purposeful and independent living. Process of aging Tissue damage by free radicals and pro-oxidant radicals like superoxide, peroxide and hydroxyl radicals is the basis for inflammatory and degenerative changes seen in variety of diseases like cancer. Endogenous antioxidants are superoxide dimutase, catalase, glutathione peroxidase which act together with the glutathione reductase and NADPH. With age these endogenous antioxidants will decrease. The dietary antioxidants like vitamin A, C and E are utilized excessively and the deficiency state may occur. The process of aging brings about physiological, psychological, immunological changes which influence the nutritional status. The changes associated with the aging are partly influenced by genetics, race and gender. As part of aging process, the functioning of the organ may change which may influence the nutrient status. So let us see the changes in the organs and uh, how it will affect the nutrition requirement. Taste and smell. Usually there will be decrease in taste buds and papillae on tongue which leads to the loss of ability to detect sweet and salt. Aging also decrease the olfactory nerve endings which leads to the poor intake because of the decreased palatability. And there will be decrease in sensory stimulation which impairs the metabolic process. Salivary glands. There will be decrease in salivary secretion leading to the dry mouth called as xerostomia. Because of the decrease in the salivary, there will be difficulty in chewing and swallowing makes them avoid certain foods like crunchy foods, dry foods and sticky foods. Next teeth. Usually there will be loss of teeth and there will be wearing dentures. This leads to the decreased consumption of hard foods like meat, fresh fruits and vegetables which results in inadequate intake of energy, iron, vitamin C, folate and beta carotene. Gastric function and emptying. Decreased secretion of HCL, intrinsic factor and pepsin is seen. So this will decrease the bioavailability most of the vitamins and minerals 
and there will be a rapid rate of emptying of fluids above 60 years of age and there will be increased proximal small bowel pH and bacterial overgrowth in bowel. This bacterial overgrowth leads to the competition for the folic acid and the B12 which counteracts for the availability of the vitamins. As there is decrease in the lactase enzyme, there will be decrease in the calcium absorption also. Small intestine. In the small intestine, there will be prolonged rectosegmoid transit which leads to the constipation. Then liver and biliary function. There will be decrease in size and blood flow of the liver which leads to the decreased rate of albumin synthesis minor structural and biochemical changes will be there which leads to the malabsorption and the poor metabolism. Gallbladder becomes sluggish in releasing the bile which leads to gallstones formation. Reduced activity of uh, drug metabolism is seen. So, these drugs dosage may lead to lower enzymes and lower the metabolic rate. Next metabolic function, there will be impaired glucose tolerance, they need dietary modification, exercise and oral pharmacological agents to improve the metabolic rate. Usually the metabolic rate will decrease due to the change in the body composition, physical activity and BMR. Cardiovascular function, blood vessels become less elastic, increase in total peripheral resistance. So, this leads to hypertension and uh, the need modification of diet accordingly. Neurological function, usually the, there will be degenerative changes which leads to the confusion state. Decrease in the synthesis of serotonin, carnitine from the amino acids like lysine, methionine leads to the degenerative changes. Carotenoids play protective role in aging problems. Immunocompetence, there will be decrease in the immunity. Supplementation of vitamin E, zinc and polyunsaturated fatty acids will help to improve the immunity. Psychological factors, usually the aging leads to the depression which will affect the appetite, digestion, energy levels, weight and well-being. Nutritional requirements. These are based on physiological changes that take place during the old age. Energy requirements decreases with a decreased BMR, physical activity, change in the body composition. Usually there will be increase in the fat and decrease in the muscle because there will be decrease in the growth hormone and increase in the prolactin hormone which leads to the deposition of the fat as age advances. And there will be decrease in the skeleton muscle uh, known as sarcopenia. Because of decrease in the muscle, there will be decrease in basal metabolic rate. So, energy levels has to be adjusted according to the decrease in BMR. Proteins. As there is a decrease in skeletal tissue mass which leads to the decrease in protein stores and are inadequate to meet the protein synthesis. Protein needs at least 11 to 12 percent of energy should be from the protein. Usually in the world age only the energy will levels will be reduced whereas the other nutrients will be same. They will not reduce especially the protein requirement is more compared with the energy. The requirement will not change. Protein intake should be 1 gram per kg body weight. The serum albumin levels are the reliable indicator of protein nutrition. Deficiency of the protein leads to edema, anemia and lower resistance to infection. Carbohydrate. An impaired glucose tolerance in the elderly can lead to hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia and type 2 diabetes. So, it is better to avoid simple sugars and uh, take more of complex carbohydrates. 
Balanced energy intake, weight management and regular physical activity are more essential. Emphasize on complex carbohydrates like whole grains and pulses which should be included in the diet. Carbohydrates should meet 50% of the energy requirement as there is decrease in the energy levels even the carbohydrates will decrease. Lipids Reducing the intake of saturated fat Incorporating more of mono and polyunsaturated fats are essential. Minerals Calcium requirement is more in old age due to demineralization of bones and osteoporosis. To improve the calcium balance, they need more of calcium. To decrease the prevalence of fractures and dental decay, they need more of calcium. Calcium absorption depends on the vitamin D levels. Calcium is available from limited number of foods, especially milk is very rich, they have to include milk in the diet. Women above 50 years need around 1000 mg per day for development of bone mass. Iron deficiency. Deficiency of iron is very common in old age because of inadequate iron intake, blood loss due to chronic disease, decreased non hemi iron absorption. Secondary echlorhydria, atrophic gastritis and decreased intake of vitamin C. Requirement is around 30 mg per day. Zinc. Usually the old age people will be avoiding the fleshy foods and they will be at risk of developing zinc deficiency. The zinc deficiency leads to delayed wound healing, low taste sensitivity and anorexia. Vitamins. The antioxidant vitamins such as vitamin E, carotenoids, vitamin C requirement will increase as there is oxidative stress in the old age. Vitamin C protects the cellular immunity. Vitamin D increases as elderly are risk due to decreased exposure to sunlight or renal mass. Folic acid, vitamin B6 and vitamin B12 protects against the elevated serum homocysteine which is an a risk factor of cardiovascular disease and leads to the depression and neurological defects. Water Kidney functions more if sufficient water is taken. At least 1.5 to 2 liters water is needed. Usually the old age people will have a fade for a sense of thirst but they have to take frequently the fluids. Modification of diet. Food must be soft and chewable because of the problems of uh, dentition, fallen teeth and uh, dentures and it should be easily digestible as there is a low secretion of the enzymes and uh, they should restrict the fat and uh, include more of polyunsaturated fatty acids because they are more susceptible to heart diseases and they should include the diet which is rich in fiber to prevent the constipation, colon cancer and to reduce the cholesterol and they should restrict coffee because it causes insomnia and include calcium rich foods like milk to compensate the bone loss and osteoporosis. Liberal inclusion of green leafy vegetables is uh, very much needed because they are the main source of uh, vitamins and minerals. Include familiar foods. The unfamiliar or changes in food pattern leads to confusion and low consumption. Clear soup at the beginning of the meal uh, will help to improve the digestion. Small and frequent meals instead of three large meals are recommended which favors a complete digestion and absorption and free from the distress. A glass of milk at bedtime is uh, also advisable which will induce the sleep. Heavy meal at noon, light meal at evening is advisable. Avoid high fat and sugar foods which leads to the fermentation, abdominal discomfort and obesity and uh, plenty of fluids are recommended to prevent the constipation and dehydration. The common nutritional problems 
observed in the old age are osteoporosis, obesity, neurological dysfunctions, anemia, malabsorption, constipation and dehydration, degenerative diseases. Osteoporosis is a condition associated with loss in bone density and bone mass, increased vulnerability of fractures due to high rate of calcium resorption from bone into blood than that of the bone formation, the bone density will reduce. So, it leads to the frequent fractures of vertebrae, femur and radius are very common. Management, you can change uh, sedentary lifestyle, dietary pattern and reduction in emotional stress, inclusion of plant based estrogens, isoflavones reduces the menopausal problems and osteoporosis. Obesity, it may be the result due to high calorie intake and emotional disturbance. Neurological dysfunction, this is due to the lack of niacin which leads to dementia. Lack of choline hampers the neurotransmitter. Central nervous system problems arise due to deficiency of thiamine and vitamin B6. Anemia, non-availability of iron rich foods, low intake of vitamin C, vitamin B12 leads to anemia. And food taboos, personal likes and dislikes also contribute to the anemia. Malnutrition, avoiding healthy foods due to lack of knowledge, poverty, inability to move around and the chronic diseases, multiple medications, emotional disturbances due to social isolation leads to malnutrition. Constipation and dehydration due to low fluid intake and low fiber diet, disturbance in peristaltic movement, natural contractions of the colon due to loss of muscle tone, stress medication, illness, resisting the urge to defecate pain due to hemorrhoids, lack of exercise and excessive usage of laxatives, all this leads to the constipation and dehydration. Degenerative diseases due to oxidative stress, atherosclerosis, cancer and diabetes mellitus are some of the degenerative diseases. Dietary guidelines. So, let us see some of the dietary guidelines that has to be followed to lead an healthy life. Maximum avoid the empty calorie foods and calorie dense foods should be avoided because they have to take low calories as there is a reduction in BMR. Foods rich in protein, vitamins and minerals should be included. Vegetables and fruits are good sources of antioxidants. A minimum of 5 servings should be taken. The antioxidants are very essential to avoid the degenerative changes. Fat promotes weight gain, fat particularly saturated fat should be limited and gas forming foods like sulfur containing vegetables and certain type of pulses have to be avoided. Soft well cooked foods are preferred, fried and concentrated foods should be avoided, caffeine containing beverages should be limited otherwise they may suffer from insomnia, high fiber diet including greens and whole grains should be included in the diet, easily digestible steamed foods like idlis, idapam can be part of the diet, plenty of fluids and semi solid foods should be taken, excess salt intake should be avoided, 2 to 3 servings of low fat milk should be included in the diet, tobacco chewing, smoking, beetle leaves chewing or the habits which may affect consumption of food in the elderly. Old age is characterized by decrease in BMR and physical activity. So, naturally the calorie requirement will be less. They have to adjust the calorie intake according to their BMR and physical activity. Moreover, they have to take more of antioxidant rich diet like fruits and vegetables which will suppress the degenerative changes and helps in leading a healthy life.